From time to time, a really great script comes along, like material, and then you don't even question it. You just say, yes, please. The story, I thought, was very poignant, very moving little, little um, slice of life, if you like. behind the scenes of the behind the scenes of the man making the behind the scenes. We are behind the scenes. So after I read the script, I was very impressed. And Craig is a great scriptwriter and a great director, and so I told him I'm on board. When I auditioned for Craig, I was like, Craig, this is like practically the story of my life, except it's a guy, and I'm a girl. The journey of the script has been a very long, a very long one. I met Riyadh in Melville in December 2001 on the stage in Cool Runnings doing stand-up comedy. Guys diving from Johannesburg to Cape Town, where you are, around the corner. Where are you from, Like, how long are you going to be fucking? We were on the same bill. I'm not a professional comedian, but uh, I did it for about a year and a half. And in 2004, I uh, spoke to him about uh, making a, a movie. And then that year I met Craig, and that's when the journey uh, began. When Ronnie first approached me to write something, it was very broad, and he basically just, I, I think he was just thought that Riyadh was an amazing talent and had a lot of potential and wanted to do s a movie with Riyadh. He liked the idea of a Muslim stand-up comedian who's given up medicine to do stand-up comedy, which was my story, as it were. And it just didn't work. It just like medicine, comedy, I don't know. There was something about it that didn't really work. Finally, it's here, and it's very, very different to my actual story. I am playing Kasim Kaif, a Muslim man who works in a fabric shop in Fordsburg and who secretly does stand-up comedy. Here you have a person who wants to have the life of a comedian and, and, and gives up his father's vision for his life so that he can follow his own dream. And you know, he has a different sense of his destiny to what his father has. And that's what our little story is about really, is like forging an identity that's unique to that young man, Kasim. And the father, sadly, has to come to terms with that, as all fathers do. Ibrahim is in danger of being left behind somewhere, unless he has the ability, the humility, and the good grace to perhaps just open himself to his son's world. Sit for a bit. I want to talk with you. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Come on, come on. Be serious. Says Aisha. This is important. You know how proud I am of you for standing side by side with me in the shop? She did. you to look after the keys from now on. And at the end of the year, I want you to take over properly. It was a huge relief to, to feel quite strongly about the script. Then it just suddenly, in over a sort of a six month or a year period, <coughs> the script just came together. My dad is always one of those guys, you know, blames everything on apartheid. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, it's like you say, uh, you know, why is there so much crime? They say, it's a legacy of apartheid. Why, why is there so much corruption? Legacy of apartheid. <laughs> Daddy, I'm constipated. Legacy of apartheid. <laughs> We've got such great um, performers and actors, you know, that, that have made such a big difference. Don't talk to me about potential. Go! Get out! Go! The cast immediately felt like my family. My name is Sadima, and I am Cass's grandmother. Oh, a lovely child. I've got a lot of trouble with him, but what can I do? I have to put my foot down every now and then. A character Yusuf is basically um, Riyadh's character's best friend in a movie and he's like um, an outside influence and gives him the confidence to do what he's doing. Less is more! It's the 
code. It's the woman code. Yeah, you're on about this code. I, I don't believe in this code, boss. You don't even speak to women, man. How would you know the code? Dude, I speak to women all the time in the shop. All the time. They love me, boss. I charm them. I make them laugh. They love me. And I don't know your code. Aunties, you speak to aunties. You know the auntie code. You don't know the woman code. I play Aisha, who is Kasim's baby sister and um, Ibrahim's daughter. Grew up in Durban, grew up a little bit in Joburg and then studied in Cape Town. Um, half Indian, half coloured, a little bit of Muslim in me. I'm 23 and I'm playing a 16-year-old. I've decided I'll have a very long career. Yeah, when I'm 50, I'm going to tell people I'm 25. <laughs> Zulfa and I are very, very much alike. We both are very respectful about our culture and our tradition, but you know, we've had quite worldly views, so we kind of also push the boundaries, which I think is great. We don't just settle into something, you know, we, we are not afraid to ask questions. And I fell in love with the story of the script, actually. You know, I think it's so similar. I think as an Indian person in this industry, I can so relate, you know, to it being hard to get into the industry and your, your family kind of not wanting you to do it and you having to prove to them you know, that this is what you love and this is what you should be doing. Stories like this can, the danger with them is that they can become very sort of cliched. Unless you find the right angle on it, it can be quite generic. The character of Ibrahim was thin and I knew that, but I didn't exactly know how to fix it either. My father is played by Vincent Ibrahim, uh, best known for his work on the Kumars. He plays the father on the Kumars at number 42. When Craig approached me to do this, to, to firstly read the script. The way he was prepared to have a conversation about how the script and the story evolved, particularly um, the character of Ibrahim. Pass me the roti, ma. Put it here. You know, from the time you were small, Ibrahim used to eat my rotis with two hands. Daddy! I said, when you are older, we will buy your cell phone. All my friends have them, and my cousins. Right hand, Aisha. Certainly, the outline was there, but not in as fully formed uh, a space as it is as it is now. From the UK, very powerful actor, Vincent de Bryan. I'm really having to, like, plumb the depths to find the, find the, the reality of the moment, whatever that means. He's an awesome actor, I've learned so much from him. Very, very, very intelligent, intense and talented man. His emotional scenes actually affected me because he's, it's sort of parts of my, my experience that have been brought onto the screen. It's very important in life to know who you are, Kasim. You can't know where you're going if you don't know who you are. I know that, Dad. Standing in a bar full of drunk people is not who you are, Kasim. You can make us laugh. You always have, but not there. That is not our world. I'm not making it my world. You've started already, my boy, by lying to us. Why did you lie? I thought you'd tell me not to do it. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm asking you not to do it. Please. Don't do it. He's got a very particular quality, you know, he's got quite a vulnerable quality. He can get wuss, but he can, but he's also got a vulnerability about him. And so the character, that character for me was, was much more than I had in my mind. Once I had a, a really strong actor in the, in the center of the piece, in a way, it gave me the ability to sort of give a bit more of the dramatic story to him and allow Riyadh and Joey to sort of do what they do. Since that time you know me, do I listen to my parents? All the time. You listen to your parents so much that my parents say, why can't you be more like Kasim? You know how irritating that is? Exactly. I'm an irritating, compulsive listener. You sound like you're between a rock and a hard place, eh? <laughs> what does that actually mean? Like, you know the plates under the sea? The tectonic plates, you know the Indian plate and the Filipino plate, then they come together, bah, and there's a tsunami. In between it. I think that it's got a, a very universal story, but also a very specific story. Like, I always thought it must play to, first of all, a Muslim audience. Like, they must love it, but it shouldn't only play to them. We could transpose this story 
into other cultures, the Jewish culture, the, or a black a Zulu home or a Toza home, you know. The humanity of these people is what is striking. My dad actually loves, loves uh, uh, Cape Town so much, he wants the next Olympics to come to Cape Town. And I'm like, you can't have the Cape Flats Olympics. Bro. <laughs> He'd be like, on your marks, <laughs> get shot. That's a lick of your tequila. <laughs> One of the first questions we asked was, do you think Rio can act? Because the film doesn't just require somebody to be funny, it requires a dramatic performance as well. Riyad actually acts in a movie. He actually, I mean like, he, he, he act. Like, he's not Riyad, he's Kasim in the movie. His forte as a performer, as a comedian, but actually as an actor, he's very moving. As of tomorrow, I want you out. Out of my house. Hey. Ibrahim. Daddy, please. I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Please, Daddy. Have you been drinking? Yes. No, no ma, ma, it was an accident. They spilled it on me. Kassam, Allah, I didn't drink. Kassam, I didn't drink. Keys. I want the keys from my shop. I watched Riyadh just allowing himself to be affected by what was happening. I didn't understand once the actors, once they take the words, um, how much they can do with it. I didn't because I had no experience with it. But seeing these guys uh, um, bring these words to life has been absolutely awesome. I saw him just use his, his natural instinct and I knew he's a natural. Wait, I can jump on. No, you can't jump. You're going to hurt yourself. Wait, let me just try. Let me just take. See if I can. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> I can do it, boss. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. These guys have been teaching me a lot with regards to acting. However, I've been their coach with regards to the Muslim stuff. So, uh, making sure they say Islam alaikum properly. It's art reflecting reality, because Riyadh gets all his material from me. And so in the film, he gets all his material from his daddy. But the lowdown on Riyadh, he's really? all over funny. <laughs> no way! He's really funny. Yeah, yes. Really? Yeah. Seriously, he's no. funny. <laughs> <laughs> People already think I'm from Joburg. I'm not a Joburger. Are you crazy? Cape Town, they say Adija. Yeah, they say Katija. And it causes problems because I got this friend from Cape Town. He wants to come to Johannesburg, but he can't. Uh, his name is Fahmi. <laughs> <laughs>